Hey, follow along today as I go from three 12 volt AGM batteries all in series to installing lead times 36 volt 50 amp batteries, two of them, to replace those other batteries. This is going to be much more efficient for my boat. The other batteries allowed my trolling motor to run for, say, four or five hours at 1.5 miles an hour. I'm going to be able to go three or four days with this setup from lead time. Follow along. We're going to go from start to finish. All right, so the first thing we got to do on our R&R &R of three AGM batteries in series to two 36-volt, 50-amp lead time batteries in parallel. So All right, we're going to install our lead time. 36 volt, 50 amps, one step at a time. If you hurry in doing a job like this, you're gonna end up doing something wrong. So, all right, we got the two in there. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna re-identify all of our wiring here from the trolling motor. We're gonna add our two jumpers, positive to positive, negative to negative. All right, instead of boring you with all the hookups and everything else, here's the completed project. I still have to do a couple things. Put these caps back on all the posts, as I mentioned. Being a charter boat, I have to have those on. The Coast Guard requires it. And then also zip tying all the wiring that's kind of hanging around here. We're going to neaten that up, zip tie them in place. But twin 36 volt 50 amp lead time batteries, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, and one thing I'll make note right here as I hooked up my uh, connections to my gauge on my lung so I can see the battery output. I don't need that anymore because I got my app from my lead time app and I forgot all about it. But here, take a look at it. All I have to do is touch it, reconnect it to the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, I'm sorry. Amazing. Here's my two 36 volt lead time chargers. Unbelievable. These are, uh, they're actually 43 uh, volt 8 amp 10 or 10 amps I'm sorry and uh, they charge them up pretty quick so I got one for each so I can put this back into service really quick after a walleye trip if I'm running a trolling motor at 1517 I'll be able to go into the waves now this is just amazing so look at that beautiful uh, I can't thank lead time enough for having the batteries that are the same size as the series 31 AGM, so they fit right into those slots. Again, I was thinking about getting the 36 volt 100 amp, but it wouldn't would have uh, I would have had to reconfigure this whole compartment in here. So now I don't. But connections are made. Just like I said, I just got to neaten everything up, and we're ready to go. I eliminated probably more than half of the wiring was in here because now we just have a jumper from positive to positive, negative to negative. It's in. Uh, parallel now instead of series so we are ready to go we got everything hooked up we're going to deploy our trolling motor we put the the stopper there because it's on the trailer and we don't want to go down and the lights came on let's take the fob hit it captain we have power wow we really have power holy smokes well that's a wrap for my conversion from 36 volt, three batteries, AGMs connected in series to make 36 volt to my twin 36 volt, 50 amp lead time lithium batteries. I have them in parallel now. So I have two of them. It's going to give me tons of power. I'm not going to have to recharge at the end of every day with uh, only getting four or five hours out of the other set of batteries. Now I'm going to be able to go three or four days with my motor guide motor all charged up uh, with two chargers. The lead time chargers are gonna do me uh, unbelievable. I can't wait to try them out and keep everything charged up. Everything comes with brochure. Here's the one for the charger. I have two chargers now. Simple, I mean, the instructions are in here, how to hook them up, works great. And when you get your lead time batteries, you get a pack here. That packet is filled with all your information on, on what you can expect out of your battery. There's your uh, your scan, your code to scan on your phone, and then you put your batteries on your phone. I'm not, I'm even gonna disconnect my uh, power source to show me how much battery I have. 
because now I'm just going to be able to check it on the phone. We hooked them up because it was, you know, we thought we had to. And something you can add, when you get your battery, it comes packed in foam. These are unbelievable. So if you have the room, I didn't have the room in my, my space down there, but you can put your battery right in this foam and uh, take away some of the shock when you're running down Lake Erie. Each one of those AGMs were probably 75 pounds a piece, and I think these are maybe 30, 35 pounds. So way less weight in the boat, and I'm looking forward to the performance of twin 36 volt lead time 50 amp batteries. This is gonna be great. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.